Well, the chili pepper that I overwintered has started to uh, flower. It's been relegated to the living room as I'm using the other place for all the seedlings. Look, we have the first homegrown tomato of the year and it's 1st of April. It's not a 1st of April joke, it is an actual real tomato on the vine. And there are flowers. It is flowering. So uh, we've got tomatoes, first week of April, pleased with that. This year, because of the state of the allotment being all weedy and things, I've only just got it so I haven't had time to clear everything out and dig everything out. So to give the beans a bit of a head start, I'm going to transplant them in big pots let them grow on a bit and then put that into the ground that way the beans will have a good chance of fighting the weeds and whatever's the grass and the weeds and whatever else is in the, is coming up but you know you, you could do, do exactly the same thing and just plant them into the ground which I might do from next year onwards sowing beans is exactly the same um, whether it's French beans, runner beans, broad beans, it's basically the same process. I prefer to uh, soak my seeds overnight and uh, that seems to speed up the germination quite a lot rather than sticking it straight in the ground. On the right you can see a uh, broad bean that's straight out of the packet and on the left is a broad bean that's been soaking overnight so you can see how much water it takes and when it's in damp ground it takes a little while for it to manage to soak up all the water it needs whereas if it's soaked overnight in water it seems to speed that up. Sowing beans is exactly the same process and this year I'm growing French beans, runner beans and a couple of varieties of broad beans. I'm growing purple cascade French bean runner bean firestorm, broad bean red epicure and broad bean masterpiece green long pod. The beans have been soaking overnight in yogurt pots and the packets are there so I know which beans are in which pot. So I need to keep the pots and packets together. Could have labelled the pots but this is easier. You can put beans straight into the ground or you can grow them indoors and then plant them out, transplant them. This year because the allotment is uh, full of weeds and everything there's no way I can uh, expect these beans to uh, fight through all that so I'm going to grow them in pots to their fair size and then transplant them. Regardless of the type of bean you do exactly the same thing. You plant them about five centimeters deep and cover them with soil. Depending on whether it's broad beans, runner beans or French beans, obviously the spacing varies, but the actual planting is exactly the same. So I'm going to start with the broad beans and I'm going to put them in the two, these are 15 centimeter wide pots. So the broad beans need to be about 10 centimeters apart. So I can get two to, to one of these pots. When I transplant them out, I can just put these pot, um, take, the, take them out of these pots and put them into the ground. They have been soaking overnight in yogurt pots, so um, they've plumped up nicely. And if there are any dud beans, they will float when you soak them, so uh, you can just throw them away. So let's start with the broad beans. And they need to be five centimeters or two inches, uh, which is exactly right up to my knuckle. 
So go there and there. Drop the beans in and drop the beans in that way round, not flat. So otherwise the water will sit on top of it and it will rot. So best to put it in that way round. Push it all the way down to the bottom. And then, and then we cover it with some sifted compost. Now I've pre-moistened that compost but what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water just to water that in and soak the compost and finally put a label on it so you know what's what. It's exactly the same procedure whether you're doing broad beans runner beans and French beans. 21st of April and we started to get uh, more ripe red tomatoes. These two are ripening. There's more there. So uh, I'm pleased with this and of course there's still more this two year old plant is still producing a lot of tomatoes and flowers and it's producing a lot of new growth from the bottom this cucumber melon I thought it was well it was dead last at the end of last year and I just removed all the dead bits and left the roots. It seems to have come back, so we'll see what we get out of that. I also sowed some seeds for perennial plants such as globe artichokes, asparagus, lemongrass and strawberries. These will be planted into the allotment later in the year. There will be more updates on these in future videos.